Now, mm -hmm. let's talk about something about the cherubim. I know. Now, what happens if they become human, right? Well, the offspring were called Nephilim, right? Alright? And that means that has something to do with being tall like Goliath, right? Goliath is rumored to be somewhere between either 8 feet to 12 feet high, right? Well, that requires two tall genes, right? Now, the angel becoming a man, right? All right, or a human being. Here's the two things that has to happen. One, he's a grown-up person, right? Not a child as we are born here, right? Like Adam and Eve, right? He's like a progenitor or a human without sexual production, you know what I mean? <laughs> what would you look like, I know, if you were made without sex, right? Both, both. Right. Okay, both come from the same source. If Adam was an adult right, and had children afterwards, it's because he's the true human being, right? But when an angel does it, right, and they try to make themselves, say, tall with two tall genes, right? Well, short is dominant over tall, right? That's the thing, too, right? So, if the height of the giants is between 12, mm-hmm, to eight feet, right? The angels could be taller even, right? Yet the height comes from the tall jeep, right? Two, two, right? All right, if the short gene, let's say, was around six foot, right? Just in general, right? And the tall gene, right, was, say, 16 foot, right? And you have sex with a mortal female. Mm -hmm. The child would be like, I said, between 12 to 8 foot tall. Mm -hmm. The short gene, even with the tall gene, shortens even the giants of old, right? <laughs> but it could also call dwarfism, right? In human beings too, right? What I'm doing is explaining something to you I've learned through medical science, but putting a religious spin on it, but also going into the Bible mm -hmm. itself to understand why we do have little people, tall people, Shaquille O'Neal, for example. And he's rumored to be a little bit shorter than even Goliath was, right? But it's not the sin... It's the sin of unforgiveness, actually, that causes you to die. Mm -hmm. <sighs> and it's not something you can easily explain as to why. Mm -hmm. But death is not something you have the right to really understand murder, right, mm -hmm. itself, right, now, mm -hmm. Jesus on the cross said this, Father, forgive them, they know not what they do, right, before he died, right, he also called out, my God, my God, why has thou forsaken me, now, this is because when you die, your spirit forsakes the earthly tabernacle. <laughs> Dummy, <laughs> you die. Your body, okay, comes from what made it in the original as a grown-up, right? 
right? The first two parents are considered Adam and Eve, right? Now, like I said about the hairless cat in Egypt, right? You cannot make I don't know, one hairless cat and all the other cats have fur unless you designed one cat to be hairless. <laughs> Does that make sense? Yeah. <laughs> Alright, that cat has to also be male and female. Mm-hmm. Or you cannot reproduce another cat like it. And that's why we're male and female. Mm -hmm. <laughs> now, this ain't to, you know, be hard on the gay people or the bi people or the polyamorous or the orgy people. Mm -hmm. Or the monogamous, even, right? These are just things that can happen if angels come in the flesh, right? <laughs> and the biggest problem is they get us to judge and try to murder each other. And the murderer is murdered by murdering someone else. When you want someone to die, mm-hmm, Instead of repent of their sins. <laughs> and they're trying to repent. You're the one not giving them their space of repentance. Right. Now. Again. Mm -hmm. If you. Like with. Dr. Phil today. Right. You know if the boy. Attacked his grandmother. Mm hmm. And she's probably the one raising him. Right. There's something going on there. Mm-hmm. That caused him to become a murderer himself. Most 14-year-old boys don't try to murder their grandma. Mm hmm So that grandma was either so hard on him or judgmental towards him or strict on him, he went nuts on her, right? Mm-hmm. <laughs> That's the problem, too. Now, I never would hurt no one, no matter what you do to me. Right. And I would pray for you to resurrect, even if you can't. Why? You're not God to try and murder anyone. That's why, right? I'm, if you attack me and you kill me, right, or you shoot me, right, you came to shoot me, right? <laughs> but why ain't I dying then, right? <laughs> I'm not wanting revenge on you, right? I don't want to shoot you back, right? That's why you, if you're trying to kill me, can't kill me. <laughs> you're not seeking revenge. There you go. <laughs> you're seeking to murder those murdering you, right? Well, then you all die. <laughs> Even of natural causes, right? Now, you can't also all of a sudden through gene manipulation or right things like that, right? Suddenly go back to right living longer either, right? Even if you live a thousand years and look young the whole time, right? That's not good, right? If you're still negative and good and evil and trying to murder each other, still do. See the body even if the cells can look young, ain't the problem, right? Your blood, your what makes you mortal ain't just a switch in your body, right? When you're cut, you bleed, right? <laughs> when you're... What kills you with the bullet mm -hmm, ain't the bullet... <laughs> But the body being pierced by the bullet. Mm -hmm. Now, if you try to shoot me, I'll say Jesus can heal me like the Wolverine and heal the injury, right? Itself in a few seconds or less than a minute, right? Reason I'm saying that is I'm not seeking revenge on you to murder you back, even if he heals me whether you're there or not, right? But if you shoot me, you got to flee the scene, right? You're a murderer, then, right? And you attempted to murder me, right? 
but I'm not seeking revenge on you, so God is giving me amnesia while he's healing me, right? Like even in the salon, say dumb butt dad had a gun, right? Set me up with his daughter, right? To stop me from sleeping with underage girls. <laughs> you get what he's doing, right? <laughs> The difference is, I'm unarmed when I went to the store. I didn't have a gun. <laughs> I don't even intend on buying a gun, right? To get revenge on him, see, see. So when he shot me, after me and his daughter got out the bathroom, <laughs> and he let us go into the bathroom, too, he entrapped me. But I also forgave the entrapment, too, see. See, the daughter had to lie about her age to get me to go with her into the bathroom. Right. But I did go with her because I believed her she was 37. See, that's a trap. But if she, she did, right. And even the Comcast girl, like I said, <laughs> is supposed to fix my TV. And the only thing that could have happened other than me lose time is she blacked me out after the sex, too, right? You don't black someone out for talking to you about sex, right? You black them out because they had sex and you, they had sex with you and then you changed your mind after the sex, right? <laughs> and then you black me out, right? <laughs> and probably hit me over the head with my own stick, right? <laughs> Which, again, I understand, right? But you also removed my memory of what happened, and I knew, right, you were still expected, right? And I told you, like with the other girl, all you would cause me to do is forget if 